Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I just wanted to give you a little update on the current status of the Star Trek doors. The Star Trek doors work great, but at this point they're manual. They are push button operated. There's a pair of video game arcade style push buttons on either side of the door. Uh, they are momentary on, so you press and hold the button to open the door, and then press and hold the other button to close the door. Uh, there's a set of buttons on both sides so that you open it from the one side, walk through, and then close it on the other side. Now this all, is all controlled by an Arduino, so for example it'd be pretty easy to set up a timer where you just press the top button, it automatically opens, and then a few seconds later it automatically closes. But there's also no safeties on here either, so uh, right now it's, it's actually easiest just to use those push buttons. Uh, this is also nice to be able to just leave the doors open. Uh, if you're carrying a lot of materials in and out from the workshop, for example. Uh, also noted that the two doors are actually independent from each other and there's a slight misalignment in the middle right now. Uh, we might be able to fix that with uh, like a, a cable running between the two to help synchronize them. Uh, these are powered by a pair of air cylinders which are connected at the top of the doors. Uh, the push buttons tell the Arduino to activate the relays which activate the air valves that send air to either extend the air cylinder or retract the air cylinder. You can see that little red light at the very top on an air cylinder there. And it's all run just by a typical uh, workshop air compressor. This is already a workshop here, so we already have the air compressor. That's the Arduino mounted up at the top, and you can see the relays directly below it. And then there are the uh, the actual solenoids that uh, control the pressurized air to either extend or retract the air cylinders, and they are depressurized when not actively opening or closing the doors. At this point, the inside is totally exposed, so you can see how all the parts work. Uh, the idea is that when it's done, this will be paneled out. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind, this has really been a back burner project and this is really my brother-in-law's project, not mine, so that's part of the issue for the timeline and how well or not it's been documented. And because the push buttons are set to momentary right now, you could open or close the door just part way if you'd like. The air cylinders are not pressurized unless the doors are actively opening and closing. So for example, in a power outage, you can still manually open or close the doors by hand. No problem. No worries about getting locked out by pressurized air or anything like that. So that's it for now, but we'll do an update after we do the automation on these doors. Until next time, stay charged up.